Hey guys, Sylvan here. Today we're looking at an old method I used to use to make 500k per hour that's very AFK with low requirements and it still seems to be relatively hidden. This guide is for those of you who aren't high enough to do bosses like burrows, but still want to get in on the money making, and you don't want to be stuck doing stuff like picking up a million blue dragon scales, or white berries, or telegrabbing a million wines of Zamorok. We're going to be killing locust riders. You may think that they're just some annoying enemy from the shitty maze you ran through in the contact quest, but they're actually very easy to kill, very close to a bank, and have great drops, most of which are stackable. It's a fantastic money making method for low level players as the drops are extremely consistent and it's a lot better cash than most things you can do at their level while staying pretty AFK. Also just for those of you who are waiting on my Dagoneth King's guide, it'll be coming next week so I can polish it off a little bit more. This guide will include requirements, how to get there, your gear setup and strategy and tips. It won't be long either as they're very straightforward monsters to kill. First off, let's look at the requirements. Just to start, you'll need 50 attack and strength. You can actually do it with around 40, but you get half the gold per hour, so it's probably worth doing something else until you're 50. You'll also need 40 prayer from protection from magic and range. For the quests, you'll need to complete Prince Ali Rescue, Ixlaren's Little Helper, and Gertrude's Cat. I have no idea how to pronounce that name. You'll also need part of contact completed up until you can use the bank and access the tunnels, but I'd highly recommend that you finish the whole quest because the Keras are very good up until you're a 60 attack and get dragon weaponry because at a lower level you'll out DPS your rune and granite items. For the recommended stats, I'd advise 60 attack and strength for the dragon short sword, it's higher DPS than the long sword, 35 agility which can be boosted from 30 with a pie, 20 construction to redirect your house teleport to Polnivnich for an easier time getting there, 10 defense for initiate or 20 if you have proselyte and 21 or 55 magic for low and high level alks respectively. You don't 100% need all of these things but it will cut into your profits a little bit for each thing you're missing. For the quests I'd also recommend completing recruitment drive for initiate which requires black knight's fortress and druidic ritual too. Also horror from the deep for an unholy book, book of war or book of balance would also help your dps and your prayer. If you're wishing to upgrade to proselyte, you'll also have to complete Sulk Menace, but I'm not going to include that on here because you can easily do it with Initiate. Getting there is actually a bit of a walk. There's only one super direct way and that's by using the Pharaoh's Scepter. It teleports you directly there, but I'm not actually going to list it here because it's 6 mil, so it's far too expensive for 99% of players. But you can walk directly from Nada with another teleport tab, or high level players can use a Desert Amulet. Or you can use the Magic Carpet system by either teleporting to Polniv... Po po we're going to call it Poly and taking it from there or getting a Shantae pass and taking the carpet to Polly and then to Sophenum. Once you're in Sophenum, you'll be entering the most northeast building of the city, marked by the red exclamation mark. I'll be showing you exactly how to get to the Locust Rider a bit later. Now let's look at your setup. First off, let's look at our minimum setup for making money. Preferably you'd have a poisoned Keras, but if you don't, I'd take a granite longsword or at least a rune longsword as we're going to be using stab here so you won't want to use a scimitar and they'll do relatively decent as well. If you have initiate or proselyte, it will greatly increase how long your prayer lasts. If you don't, you could replace it with monk's robes as they're super cheap and they have a prayer bonus. For the cape, I'd take the arty cape two or higher. If you don't have that, you can use a prayer cloak or an arty cape one instead. Lastly, if you don't have an unholy book, a book of war or a book of balance, you can take a brudu shield, which are actually really cheap but give 5 prayer as well. When deciding on your gear, just don't take defense into account because you're not actually going to take any damage, you're going to be praying the whole time. So just look for gear that gives you offensive stats or prayer. For your inventory, you'll want 2 super attack and strength potions, 8 to 10 prayer potions, 2 pieces of food in case you mess up your prayer, a lantern or a candle, but a lantern is better, a tinderbox and enough runes for 100 alks at least. If you have a herb or a rune pouch, they're also very useful for saving inventory space, and a holy wrench will save some money on prayer potions. You'll need 10 to 12 free spaces for loot because they drop a lot of different stackables, and when you're a low level you probably don't have the rune pouch or the herb pouch to reduce the inventory space. As you level up, you'll want to get a helm of neat's knot and a dragon sword, it's better than the long sword because you're going to be using stab again. Your inventory will be very similar and you'll just be upgrading little bits of gear here and there as you level up. Once you hit 70 attack and strength, the slash versus stab makes a lot less difference. A whip isn't even that much worse than a Hasta or Abyssal Dagger if you don't have them. 
So just use the best gear that you can. The prayer gear makes it a lot more AFK, but if you have bandos or a fighter torso, you get more kills per hour, but you just have to click a little more. So I'll leave that choice up to you. You'll be able to get over 1 mil per hour at this level, so it's still a good money maker. For me personally, I got around 1.5 mil at almost max stats. A Sarah Godsword will significantly increase your trip times and a Herb and Rune Pouch will reduce your inventory space. There are a lot of definitely better money making methods at this level though, but if you just want some low effort, semi AFK, easy to kill enemies, Locust Riders are for you. Now let's look at how to kill them. You'll just need to walk down this corridor, pray mage to begin with, and then once you get around this corner, you'll want to pray range. Make sure you're not clicking on the map because sometimes it will force you into traps and you can die. And once you're in combat, make sure you don't take off your prayer because the Locust Riders can actually hit quite hard and quite accurately. Make sure your weapon is on stab because they have a weakness to stab. And essentially all you're gonna do is just kill him while he's standing still. He takes about five seconds to respawn and is aggressive. So you can actually leave your character for a couple of minutes and pick up the loot every few kills. Make sure you're alking to free up space if you can. And once you've lost your aggression, you can walk back up to the surface, walk back down again, and he'll be aggressive once again. There's also an altar in the city upstairs if you want to use it each time you have to bank just to save on prayer potions. And they drop heaps of stackables and alkables, so you'll be making more than 5k per kill, most of which you can just pick up. This is pretty rare for most lower level enemies. So now you have a super easy and AFK method of making money that isn't very well known. Hopefully this has helped you and you're able to get the cash to afford your next goals. If you have any more questions or comments, comment here, Discord or in game, I always respond. And I'll see you next time when we learn how to take down the Dagonet Kings. Bye!